Okay, so hmm. okay. Thanks to uh, the organizing committee and the DAD for allowing me to come here and the funding they gave me, so that I can do this presentation in front of you. And uh, first of all, uh, I should say that this first of its kind I'm doing on a on a conference. I never did such a uh, such a presentation. I always did technical presentation. Uh, as many of my colleagues may know that I was talking about OGC and open source all the time uh, since last one and a half years. So uh, this is quite a change and uh, I don't know what you guys are expecting from this. Uh, so, but uh, I should say don't expect anything, any technical advantage from this presentation. So, uh, it's not moving. Uh, you use a stick? No. Which stick? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So this presentation is not, not about telling you how to become an entrepreneur. It's not about getting projects. It's not about, you know, the techniques and trends. And there is no graphs I will be showing which shows you the geospatial industry, nothing. It's just about my little experience which I had in last one year or last two years in matter of fact in uh, gaining some projects and in trying to set up something small. And uh, why it's not about how to become an entrepreneur, it's simply because I'm not in a position to advise you how to become an entrepreneur. So I'm also in the learning process and I'm also trying to get something out of this. So now what I am going to tell you is what we do and why we do, how we are doing this or rather you could advise me how to do and uh, general outlook on different possibilities to get projects or uh, consultancies from uh, different arenas and mixing business with the research that which I do now and uh, problems, problems, problems always and is it worth and some, some basic current trend you know regarding the projects and tenders right now happening in India, basically in India. Okay. So, it's a, it's a huge list actually, I mean it covers almost everything under GAs and uh, remote sensing. So this is what we can do and uh, now we are doing some of, covering some of this including the open GA solutions the application development, data collection service, and uh, the remote sense image processing part. So, this is our small office in Cochin, Kerala. And uh, the main streams which we were looking into, or which we are focused right now, is divided into two different uh, uh, areas. One is a web-based GIS solution and uh, other one is GIS and remote sensing solutions. So in web-based GIS solutions, we are concentrating on open source tools to develop different applications, you know, uh, according to the requirements by the client. And I can show you one of the applicant application which we have developed using these tools. And it is OGC compliant, which is now becoming uh, one of the hot word even in India. Now, and uh, we have developed the two different management systems actually, species distribution management system and agriculture management system. And the other area which we are concentrating on is my expertise is basically the classic GIS and remote sensing area solutions, the basic mapping services and uh, our major concentration is on uh, satellite image processing land cover change studies, fire mapping, urban studies using high resolution images like Iconos, GOI, QuickBird and all. Okay, so why we are doing this? It's, it's all about money and again money and of course there is, there is passion about this field because uh, we can earn money through different areas. So I am doing this particular geospatial services because I am interested in this, but again it's wrapped with money again, yeah. Now, how we are doing this? 
See, uh, I finished my graduation in 2002 and uh, I've been working in a research-based NGO in India where they had a GIS and remote sensing lab and I started with image processing work. I worked there for three years, three, three and a half years and then came to Germany for the masters. So with that context which I had in the research field, so it was a new uh, thing which was happening. Till then they were recruiting people and doing the GIS and remote sensing thing. So what I do is I enter their project as an external consultant for uh, GIS and remote sensing and I tell them that okay I will do that, that particular part, that technical part of GIS and remote sensing and uh, deliver it to you. Because it, most of the time this GIS and remote sensing will be a part of a huge project which they will be carrying out by UN or uh, UNDP or something like that. So basically that kind of consultancies I undertake and uh, uh, capacity building for NGOs where I do training and uh, basic GIS mapping and uh, I uh, build capacity for the in-house technicians how to deal with the basic GIS services. Now development projects like WebGIS, we have some in-house projects, for example uh, my master thesis was about online digitization using OGC specification, so online digitization over the satellite image. So I was fortunate to implement that in one of our land use land cover change project where I put up our server in uh, our application in a server and I provide them the satellite images to someone sitting in the US. So they could see that and they can draw the training sites near the uh, ground truth points and it practically happened recently. So I was quite happy with that. So that's how I'm trying to mix up this WebGA solutions and the remote sensing solutions which I provide uh, for different institutions. And training as part of capacity building, I, I do training in their site. I don't uh, offer training in my site because of the license issues. And uh, yeah, we we continuously trying for getting other possibilities. Now we, we have some clients now, uh, uh, it's Columbia University for the LEC project, land use land cover project. Their uh, area of interest is in India, 10 different sites in India. They're using Landsat and Aster and Cubebird images for uh, uh, their processing, the studies and uh, we are doing that part for them. Uh, now Stockholm Resilience Center, Sweden and ATRI as a collaboration for doing urban classification for uh, 10 different cities in the world and they have started with Bangalore and uh, I don't know about the rest of the cities but at least I have started with the Bangalore stuff and uh, uh, for as I said consultancy for an organization for A3 I do miscellaneous GAS projects like fire mapping and uh, livelihood projects uh, all the GAS part now two important web GAS projects which we are dealing with right now is uh, WebGIS, developing a WebGIS for wetland conservation program and uh, one highlight is that we are, we are using open source and OGC specifications and uh, we are trying to develop it in local language Malayalam. So everything, the search panel, the map, everything will be in Malayalam using uh, the backend will be PostGR SQL. And another one which we have finished now is Species Distribution Management System for GKVK, the Agriculture University in Bangalore. And uh, yeah, it's the first phase is already implemented. And another foundation where we constantly give consultancy to them. Keystone. So I, I usually, so these projects is as part of my contacts which I gathered during my last three years of uh, experience in uh, different NGOs. Now, when I see in the net for tenders or projects, what I found that there are three levels of projects which we can see on geoinformatics, which is international, really international, and uh, a lot of, on, based on India, a lot of central government, local, state, local government funded projects, like local, for example, member of parliament has uh, some fund to allot, you know, some uh, 200 million rupees or something like that. So they, they can allow that money to build some, something on geoinformatics. So such 